Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed Valhalla video. So, Dawn of Ragnarok, it is in the store for pre-order and what we are gonna get for pre-ordering it with sold the price of 40 euros, 40 bucks, we are getting Twilight Pack. So, including Mount, Raven, one weapon and one armor set. So, after buying the new DLC, logging into the game, after that you should see the pop-up the items popping up they are coming at least they did come for me straight away as a medical status but they are the lowest level so you have to do some upgrading so first let's go and let's take a look how the new mount how the new raven how they will look however let's take a look of the gear of the weapon first so here we go into the inventory we are seeing a lot of new stuff and let's start with the cape and uh, let me just say the perks of this armor set and of the weapon from the twilight pack they are just absolutely amazing so as we can see here increased fire build up and speed plus the five set bonus ice shards fall from the sky on the light finisher and lava burst from the players on heavy finishers so those are so cool i will show those a little bit later in this video so keep watching the weapon Alagurnir. So perk from this weapon finisher with this we weapon will always deal critical damage. Critical damage with finishers they are 100% increased. That is actually pretty pretty amazing at least in my opinion. But only downside for that one is we cannot have any other weapon in our offhand. So it is only or alone this weapon nothing else. So that is only minus part on that one, but I think we can live with it. And what comes to the look, this is looking pretty amazing, at least in my opinion. Of course this is gonna consume so much our resources, but that doesn't affect the look. So overall for this pack, at this point I am giving 8 out of 10. The minus parts are the weapons perk, I mean we cannot have other weapons so that is minus and the second minus even though i have everything else maxed out this game with the lowest upgrade level so those are the only two things for me that are dropping the rating however let's give the mounts and the raven a fair chance and let's take look of those both before we are actually taking this gear to the test pin so there is our new mount at least for me that is looking pretty pretty awesome eyes on the feet lava on the back and that is going just fine with the new dlc fire and ice in dawn of ragnarok also the sounds of the lynx i think it's lynx it is still <laughs> sounding like a lion and yeah a raven it is in similar fashion looking pretty darn awesome just lava all over and we can see a little bit hint of ice as well but mostly lava mostly lava so definitely these are gonna be used a lot for next couple of months just awesome looking and i think only one mount would actually top this one and i think it's gonna be the fox from the shinobi armor set that should be dropping tomorrow maybe but enough of the looks and the perks let's put them to the test shall we so our testing area is cloudchester in cloudchestershire and uh, let's go we are gonna try to do the light finisher first and uh, let's see what is coming up with that one boom last hit is gonna land and here we are getting a little storm above us unfortunately we didn't have anything under it and yeah lava burst nobody near so this was definitely not the best tactic of doing this so just wait a moment and we will go through this all right so here we are we are gonna put the new perks to the test the enemies they are under the cloud and they are getting like 40 30 damage per rain hit and that is actually pretty okay at least in my opinion because let's be honest we are landing finishers left and right in this game so that is gonna be on almost all of the time moving on to the last thing and it's gonna be the flame burst and what we need for that we need actually do the heavy finisher 
That is a little bit harder, but we can manage. It landed, we had enemy close, and almost instantly killed him with the burst and the fire damage. So, overall, by the look, how it came, how this feels. Actually, this is one of the best sets, in my opinion. Couple minuses here and there, for example, the upgrade level, it is coming the lowest status. Also, what is dropping the points is the lack of the customization, so there is really no point of mixing anything with this gear set or this weapon. So lack of options is dropping definitely some points for me. But let's remember this is pre-order gift and I'm standing behind the 8 out of 10 rating that I gave this one earlier based on the looks. So the Twilight set, Twilight pack is getting 8 out of 10 from me and I'm pretty happy, pretty solid number. For this one hopefully you did enjoy and let's roll the outro thanks for watching remember to hit the like hit the sub turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that i upload or when i go live also vikings have fun stay safe be strong hope to see you in the next one skatha over and up and bye bye